Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Trish again at Kareem Trish. And today I have a few things to share with you um, that I got in the mail last Wednesday or this past Wednesday um, from Amazon. I ordered these artistic pencils and I also got this um, PU leather case that I ordered with it. Now, I started this video and yeah, I got messed up so I had to start over. But anyway, so um, I got this, it came last Wednesday and um, I love this these cases. Um, I'd rather have gotten black but they didn't have black so I got gray. I don't like the other colors. So I got this and it's 72 count so I can put my Arteza uh, color pencils in it. And so I've already rearranged them and the order that they are on the back of the uh, case here um, because that's the way I'm going to put them in my um, pencil case and I am going to note that when I first opened them up I didn't smell anything I, um, I had to bring them close to my face because I'm, I'm not good at um, uh, my nose doesn't work well. I mean, it, well, let's put it this way. I unconsciously turns my snouts off so I don't smell stuff because I can smell like a bloodhound. Because <laughs> um, one of my senses is gone, like my eyes. I can't see very well. I mean, I'm not blind or anything, but um, I need contacts or glasses. So because I'm pretty much blind, it's a bad without my glasses or my contacts. Um, um, my uh, nose is uh, really sharp when it comes to smell. So I, I don't know why, but I, 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 I can unconsciously turn my smell off. See, like, I don't smell anything until somebody says, You smell that? Like, no, I, I don't. Yeah. I, and it's because my son, I have an autistic son, and he, oh God, we're not going to discuss that, but he always smells. So, so I guess I like, you know. I'm nose blind to him or something, then I'm just nose blind to everything. So I'm not going to say I constantly turn my smell I just like, I don't smell anything until I like, somebody brings it to my attention. But anyway, so, these don't even smell, but they still got a bit of a smell, only because I'm bringing them to my face and smelling them. Because I've heard people, they say they get smells from pencils, and I never smell anything until I just happen to think about it this time. So, they do kind of smell like paint still. But it don't bother me because I, I don't smell it unless I'm standing here literally sniffing them. But anyway, these are the, the order that I put them in. <coughs> Excuse me. That was on the back of the, of the container. And I don't like the way they look. I mean, because if you see, like here, I mean, they all match up. I mean, you know, I like the way they are ordered and the color order in there but the color of the barrel is throwing me off look at this I don't like that so that's gonna bug me for a minute I mean I like my color pencils to look like this when they're in the case I'm gonna show y'all my um my my uh, prisma color and you see how they are <laughs> they are supposed to look like this when they're in the case gradient not all crazy like that but I guess I have to deal with it and I get used to it but anyway so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the swatching thing and unfortunately I left my swatch book in the house I might have my crafts yet because I've been coloring I recently colored finished a page and I'm gonna be starting another one here hopefully later today my grandkids are here I haven't had them in a while so um, we will be keeping them probably majority of the summer probably weeks at a time I can't keep them too long because they, they'll drive me crazy love my babies but they got to go home but anyway so um when I come back I'm going to start swatching I'm not sure if I'm going to do the entire swatch uh on film because I know sometimes I am not into watching somebody else's swatch and then sometimes I am and I've 
know that there are people out there that are the same way. Some people like to watch the whole swatching process, and some people don't. So I haven't decided yet. But um, I'm going to get my swatch book, and I'm going to start swatching and see how these colors lay down and everything because I've heard rave reviews about these. I've watched plenty of reviews, and so I'm anxious to get my hands on these pencils and start using them. So I'll be right back with my swatch book, and we'll get started on that part. Right back. Okay, I'm back with my uh, swatch book here, and we're gonna start some swatching. Hold on, guys, I'm trying to get my camera because I don't know why I keep sliding. Uh, I kind of like my camera set up, but for some reason, it's starting to annoy me. But anyway, so these are, you know, I love this case. I like the case because it's, the lid is attached to it. Um, and I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna use the case, but because I'm a crafter too, um, I'm gonna alter that tin uh, for something else. Probably a nice size for a um, mini album or something. So I like that case. But, anyways, we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna take all these layers out. And like I said, um, I already put them on the order that I want them in, but which is the same way they are on the case. Uh, just not like in the barrel, uh, color barrel of the pencils. Oh, yeah. That's Sergeant Arts' the last ones I did. So, we are going to get started on these here, um, teaser pencils. Let's see, I need a ready utensil. Okay. Alright guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my air conditioner because it is early and it's not hot yet. And y'all probably can't hear me with that thing going, but some most of the time y'all hear that noise in the background. That's my air conditioning. And uh most of time we're gonna have that on, especially this summer because it gets hot out here and I'm not gonna be filming videos in the heat. So I just try to talk louder and hopefully the noise don't annoy you too much. Okay, so again it's 72 counts. And I'm thinking I probably won't be able to do the whole part, watch process because it is now uh, Saturday. I, I got these Wednesday. And we are supposed to be going to the in-laws today um, because it's been a while since we got the grandkids and... They haven't seen the kids either, so they miss them, so they want us to bring them up there. We gotta go. And we'll have a cookout today or something. Uh, so, I probably won't be able to do all of this. Um, and they go, I'm, yeah, I'm, my phone's gonna ring, probably, and the hub's gonna come like, where you at? That's not the girl. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to start with these. Oh, and the thing about these is that these pencils, other than the fact that the barrel color is killing me, it's getting to my nerves already, is that they have Arteza, Arteza written on the side, Expert, and then the other side in silver, they have the color with the number and the light fastness um, indicator. This is a two. I think most of them are threes and some of them are twos. Um, People always talk about the low, the color light fatness on p color pencils. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if I care about that or not because, you know, who are people going to? If I'm if I'm selling my work, which I'm not, um, these pencils, the color of light fatness is going to outlast me. So if the, <laughs> the pictures start to fade, and I'm not around, like, okay, what are they going to do about it? You know. So I don't know. Uh, they, they, um, yeah, so I'm not, the, the, the light color fastens on these pencils, or, you know, uh, they don't seem to, I don't really care about that, you know, 
But anyway, okay, so we're going to start with the first color. I'm trying to figure out how I want to put these. The I, the number, I'm going to go ahead and write the number and the, the, of course, the color and the number. Now, I was looking at some of these, and I kind of, and I like the numbers. I mean, the names that come up for these. I always like unique names for uh, colors uh, that they come up for pencils. And I'm going to write that one. I'm going to. No, I'm just going to do one at a time. Okay, so I don't know why, but sometimes I have to have another sheet of paper under here. Just because, I don't know, I just have to. Let me see if I have some smaller. Yeah, no, i make it. Okay, so now from my understanding, these are wax pencils, but they are really creamy. This is really smooth I'm not pressing that hard and I've told y'all before that I am heavy-handed and I'm not pressing that hard and I'm getting good color out of this and um, like I said I got these Wednesday and I've been itching to get my hands on these pencils ever since before, actually before they came uh, before they got delivered, because I'm always uh, tracking my packages when I'm expecting something. And these seem like it, they took forever to even get shipped out. And then they finally got here. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing. And I just kind of started that video, but... It didn't work out because that was like Friday and then the, oh wait a minute, no, Thursday, the next day after I got them. Here it is Saturday and I'm just not doing this, the swatching part because the grandkids are here. When the grandkids are here, I can't get much done. Um, especially the, the one-year-old, she, you know, she's always attached to the hip or wants to be. Okay, so this color is called turmeric. Um, I should use this stuff. Um, it's a spice or seasoning, but I don't use it for that. <laughs> um, uh, so the number here is A077, and the color is turmeric. So I wonder if it'll come out like the actual spice. It's like a yellow color. Oh, it looks like it. That's a mustard color. Yep, it does. Because I have it in a powder form. You know, if you, you know, if you, so if some of you people cook and you know your spices, then you know what I'm talking about. But I have turmeric, but I don't use it as, as in cooking. I uh, make my own. hair care products and facial pro and skin care products and things like that and I've used turmeric as a um, facial mask I love it I love this color so that's turmeric oh, turmeric I it's turmeric uh, people pronounce it differently okay this one is lemon Actually, going by the colors on the thing, I should just put them in my, in my own order because I'm thinking this color should have went second before the turmeric color. Now, but thing about it was, I thought about doing that, but I didn't really like doing it. Like, I'm just gonna go by the um, container. I have uh, part of my head hurt all the time. I have uh, chronic headaches and migraines, and I try to do as much non-thinking as possible I try not to use my brain cells too much <laughs> yeah I know that doesn't sound right but 
I, 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 yeah, I'm trying to limit the things I do when it comes to my head because it hurts too much. It hurts now. Um, it hurts a little bit more than it usually does. And right now, so the pain is getting to be a little bit annoying. Ooh. Like I said, <clears throat> so it is uh, going to be one of those mornings when I might have to take something. Especially if we're going to be away from the house around other people or company and dealing with the grandbabies. I might need to take some medication today for my headaches. And guys, I've had these headaches since high school. Or, yeah started high school 30 some odd years i've been having these headaches one surgery because of something they said i was born with um and the surgery fixed the headaches where i actually had pain-free days for two years and then the headaches came back and now they don't go away again i i take i kid you not guys my head hurts me 25 8 i mean it hurts all the time seriously i kid you not um so I'm used to the headaches. I know how to manage the pain. I've never been addicted to anything. I don't like taking medication. I will only take something if I'm like in crying pain. I mean, if they get really debilitating. So, um, I've had surgery for these headaches back in 2005. Um, because I had a different kind of pain in my head, it scared me. And again, it come to find out there was something I was born with called Chiari malformation. So I had a Chiari decompression, which was the surgery. And I had to have that done because I said if I didn't, then it was going to start affecting my limbs and everything. You know, that's a, that's a whole process. Um, um, I might chat about that. One of my coloring things going on. But anyway, so like I said, I'm, I'm a migraine headache sufferer. And sometimes they get really bad. Sometimes they, you know, they, the headache lingers. And I try to stay busy because with me... If I'm just sitting and not doing anything, my head hurts like the dickens. I mean, it's just ridiculous how my head hurts. But if I'm occupying myself, like doing something, coloring, crafting, or something, then I don't notice the pain. But as soon as I stop and sit still, it's like the, hot, the headache is there. I mean, like, I, I'm still here. So, I try to stay busy so my headaches don't bother me because I really don't take, like take medication. Um, but, like I said... The worst kind of headaches that I do have is the ones I wake up with. And this one that I woke up with is kind of bad. Um, so I'm going to be in the... I think... Um, hopefully I don't have to take medication because I'm doing this. But if it doesn't ease up before we leave today, I'm going to be taking medication. If I don't, it's going to get worse. But anyways, on to the next color here. Um, this one is Yellow Ochre. And I was looking at this color because um, I don't like the way that I sometimes my handwriting is n not to my liking. I might have to correct that. This is A064. Again, this is yellow ochre. And these pencils feel so good. And you know what? I am smelling these pencils. Now that they're, I'm kind of like, they're closer to my face than they were when I was just taking them out of the container. So hopefully the smell doesn't irritate my head, my headache any worse than it already is. Because then I really will need to be taking medication. And I'm a weird one. I am weird. I'm a weirdo, guys. I am. I'm a little bit crazy. I admit it. I'm crazy. I'm nosy. I'm weird. And when people... mess with me which I don't have any enemies but when people mess with me uh, try my patience things like that then I get petty only because I just want to mess with them huh and I don't mean like you know like most people do I mean like payback kind of mess with them because I'm all for karma when it comes down to people getting what they deserve. But in some cases, like a recent thing that's going on right now, uh, these people, well, this person, 
they really need to be um, put in their place because they're messing with my family and I'm not playing that. So, <laughs> I already warmed some of my fans um, on Facebook that um, if y'all see some petty stuff from me, that's because I'm paying somebody back. But it's not going to be like, a, you know, nothing mean or anything. It's going to be state the facts and the thing about it is that the person, they can't stand it. They can't stand being wrong. So, it's like, I'm going to be telling the truth about themselves. And you know how people uh, are, are they, when they, when, you know, they come out and they, I can't even get it out. You know what they say about the truth. It hurts, so. <laughs> That's why I'm going to pay this person back because right now, I am not waiting for karma to do the job. It's going to take too long. Okay, so this is Sunflower. A016 and God, I'm you know what? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I don't like my handwriting. This is all in the color. Guess what, guys? I'm gonna start over. <laughs> or should I? You know what? I'm not going to. It'll be alright. I got glitter on this past paper. I was doing some of glitter. So it's glitter. Um, but yeah, it'll be all right. It's not that serious. It's going to irk me for a minute, but it's not that serious. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So I'm not... I'm actually not petty, guys. I just want to mess with people when they deserve it. Because I'm not about drama and stuff like that. I keep to myself. Um, I get along with everybody. Even though I have come to realize that I'm not really a people person. I only, I'm only a people person when I have to be. Um, I live out in a rural area. I don't get out much. I don't like going out. Because when I leave the house, most times it, can, it, it involves spending money. <laughs> of course, I can do that at the house on the internet. But, yeah. And dealing with people. Because I'm older and back in the day when I was younger. Yeah, this is going to be a little chat thing. Um, I had a temper and I'm a Capricorn, so I don't know if that's a Capricorn thing, but I have a temper. I had a temper and growing up, uh, I was subject to slap people without notice if they said something wrong to me or whatever. And so I had a temper, um, got older, had kids. The headaches got worse, so I had to control that temper. And I, you know, kept my mouth shut when things bothered me. I, you know, bit my tongue and stuff like that. Until, you know, you get to the point where it keeps, when somebody keeps you know, a counselor annoying me about something. You know how it is. When people keep poking the bear, which is what's going on right now, poking the bear, poking the bear, just just actually messing with you, just get, wanting to get a reaction out until they finally get it. That's not how I, way I got. And so, I didn't, uh, do that. You know, I was, uh, the quiet one. I, you know, didn't say much when it comes to people or I'm being annoyed about something until I was really provoked and so I just didn't say anything but now I'm older in age I'm, I'm the type of person like I don't I'm not around a lot of people that uh, that are rude to me or talk crazy to me or you know and you know I'm not that way with other people uh, you know again I'm like the type of person that I treat people the way I want to be treated. And, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, I don't have enemies. I have people I don't like, and I don't, and I, they might be pissed if they don't like me. And so, I can be civil with you. If I don't like you, I can still be nice to you. You speak, I'll speak back. But, if you have to fool with me, I will have to fool with you. So, the thing about it is, now, is that because I'm older than age, and again, I'm not around people um, who uh, talk rude to me or anything like that. So, when I come across somebody like that, that just talks to me like they crazy, uh, yeah, I'm going to snap back because I'm not the type of person to hold my tongue anymore. I'm such a tell you real quick, like, 
how I feel about the situation or conversation or subject or whatever the situation may be. Um, probably be a few choice words in there, and then I'm, and that's it. I'm gonna leave you alone. And it's gonna take about a, probably 30 seconds to 45 seconds for me to let you know what's up, and then I'm done with it. And that's gonna be the end of that conversation. So, my headaches so allow me that luxury. I'm not fin to um, argue, fuss, and fight with anybody and pay for it later with a bad headache. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. And th that color was honey. A076. A076. This is color honey. So, yeah. So, that's what that is. But, um, I'm going to do a few more of these. And I don't think I'm going to do any more swatching on camera because... Um, I've got I got a bad feeling. I'm gonna get called in a minute. My phone is gonna ring, and that's just annoying when I get my phone rings and I'm doing a video. I can't stand it. But anyway, so I'm gonna do more, a few more of these, and then I'm going to continue the swatching off camera. Then I'll come back with all of them swatched and continue with the review. So this color is camel. This a110 and I don't know guys I might because I'm not I'm not like an order of these and I'm not liking this so I might start over I don't know y'all figure y'all y'all figure it out if I come back with the swatching process done if I figure if I start it over or not But I'm, I'm really liking these pencils. I'm glad I bought them. Um, and I've heard... I haven't been able to do a sharpening test. And that's the thing. I, one thing I keep forgetting to do um, in my reviews with the pencils is do, you know, try sharpening them. Um, because I have done uh, a review on some of the pencils. And then when it get, and I didn't do the sharpening in the review. But then when I start using them and then I sharpen them, then... Oh yeah, that I should have put that in the review because I got pencils where I love them, love them. But when it comes to sharpening them, they break and it makes me mad and like oh crap. Some of these pencils that I have, they not um, they're not on open stock and I can't buy just that one pencil. But I think I'm gonna be buying another set of these um, simply because I think I'm gonna like these, uh, especially if I um. come to realize on my own that they do sharpen and they don't break and also says on the container that they don't break when you sharpen them oh yeah I'm gonna just I'm gonna buy another set of these um I don't care if they're open or sock I would be nice if they had open sock on them but because they don't I don't think they do um I'm just gonna buy a whole new set because I love my Prismacolor the only thing I don't like about these is they don't have they don't have a wide range of color like Prismacolor does um so these might be replacing my Prisma colors, but um, I'm, I'm thinking we'll buy another set of these just to have an extra set. Oh, and this one is orange, orange. And again, I'm not pressing that hard. This is between medium, light to medium pressure, or yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, light to medium pressure. This is, of course, really light pressure. And I think one reason why I don't do complete a whole complete review on these because there are a lot of reviews out there on all these pencils. So, I like to be informative, but because there are other reviews on these on pencils too, I don't, you know... It, I don't think it's going to make a difference. I'm not, I'm not that informative. Because the thing about it is, is that one should watch more than one review anyway before they make a purchase. You just don't watch one review and then you buy you buy something. I mean, that's not on, that's on anything. You need to buy multiple, you know, watch or read multiple reviews. Because not everybody has the same opinion. So, yeah. So that's, I, that's one reason why I'm not, I don't do thorough reviews except the one pencils that I had. I can't remember which ones those were. But I did do one thorough review. Um, this one is Blood Orange. 
Yes, and the neighbors won't want to get out and cut them on the day. Wait a minute. Did they get a new lawnmower? Um, because they asked my husband to, if they would, uh, if he would cut the grass and they paid him because uh, said their lawnmower blew up. So they must have got a new um, lawnmower. Well, they're borrowing somebody's. But they said it was getting a 360 turn lawnmower. Like I said, guys, we live in a rural area, and Pushmore just don't get it out here. We got too much land out here to be talking about a Pushmore. But it's summer, so the best time to cut your lawn is late in the afternoon or early in the morning before it get hot. And I did our lawn last week. We're not going to talk about the the headaches and egg body aches after that one. Because I cut down limbs and everything in my yard. We got a big backyard and trees back there that are finally cleared. Um, I did it with my husband at work. And he said, I wish you hadn't done that because he know how I am. I want my headaches and You're going to pay for that later? Yeah, I know. But still, I want to do it. But um, I did that last week. And it looks like my grass needs cutting already. Again, uh, I want to do a couple more colors. So this one is rose red. I don't think I'm gonna do these though because um even if because uh, I like writing down the numbers and the, the, the um the name of the pencils, not just the name. And some of these spell I'm not writing small enough to get all of it in the space, so I'm not gonna even do it again because it's not gonna be any better. Um well it probably would be, but I'm just not gonna do it. So, again, this is Rose Red A001. And I'm telling you, all of these are going down smooth. Light pressure. Really light pressure. And I, and I realized that some of the light pressure, medium pressure, hard pressure. I do really light pressure, light pressure, medium, light, light to medium pressure, medium pressure, medium to hard pressure, hard pressure. Um, I have more ranges of my pressure. Uh -huh. And guys, I, like I said, I'm nosy. I'm tempted to get up look out my window and see what kind of lawnmower they got. <laughs> Cause I talked to my neighbor last week because I was when I was uh, cutting my lawn, and I was into areas where I've never cut before. Cause there's a lot of brush in certain areas that I was always wanting to cut down, so I decided to get them to do that. And I got into one area and um, I tipped my lawn more, and I couldn't get it out. So I asked, my, I went over to the neighbors, asked if they had like a um, a chain or a strap or something I can pull it out. But he ended up just pushing it on over and rolling it out. It was it was a, like a drop off, like a heel behind my other my my uh, my storage shed out there. So yeah, and she was telling me that they was getting a new lawnmower, and they maybe getting a 360. So I want one of those. Okay, this is a carmine red. And I think this is the last color I'm gonna do because. And like I said, I'm afraid that my husband's gonna call me and my phone's gonna ring. And uh, I don't want my phone ringing while I'm on film. So this is again Carmine Red A049. So, and guys, I hopefully I can get this uh, review finished today. It's Saturday. I got these pencils Wednesday. So, I hope I can get it done Saturday because, we're, like I said, we're going to be leaving here soon in a couple of hours. And I think it's about 8 o'clock or something like that. 8.30. And, um, we're leaving early. God. I asked him yesterday, what time are we going to your mom's? 10.30. Why is it so early? But yeah. 
So I gotta go in here and feed people, give them breakfast and get them dressed and then we out. Uh, so when we go, anytime I leave the house to the in-laws, trip, vacation, wherever, if I'm gonna be there for a long period of time, I've got to take something to do. So I'm gonna be taking this and I'm gonna be finishing them uh, while we're gone. And I'll do the swatching there. And I'm gonna start another coloring page. Uh, And then when we get back home, I could hopefully finish this review and get the uploaded, the video uploaded. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. This is Crimson A078. Crimson is my favorite color. Actually... This crimson look like a real crimson. Crimson looks more like the carmine is like my more crimson color, favorite color. So yeah, these are filling in the white pretty good. Not a lot of pressure. And I'm liking them. Really pretty. They feel good. They go down good. I'm going to love these pencils. Um, so I'm going to finish the swatching and then I'll be back with the rest of the colors done. And then I will finish the review from there. Alright guys, uh, I'll see you later. Okay, guys, I'm back, and <laughs> it's not actually hours later, but days later from when y'all just saw the first part of this video, um, when I was doing the swatching part, or started doing the swatching part, and so, I finished the swatching part at my mother-in-law's house, and then, uh, the other day, I, um, I didn't like the way the colors were in the book, so I redid them, and, you know, it, it wasn't neat enough, so that's me. So I redid it, and I put in the order that I wanted, and I went ahead and put them in my case. And I went, I also got my labeler, and I labeled all my cases, because I think I have like nine, ten sets of pencils. And I'm like, yeah, I need to start labeling these cases. But anyway, so I went ahead and redid the order of the pencils, um, instead of going by what was on the back of the container, uh, the metal container that they were in so I put them in the order that I wanted and so these is what they look like after they've been swatched and aren't they pretty um they are very bright vibrant colors um I did notice that um that they were sharpened but they weren't sharpened to a point like the tip was flat so I mean it wasn't a problem but I did notice that and one of the uh that did break and I think that it wasn't in shipping it was my fault I did something I don't know what happened but it broke and I did sharpen it so they sharpen really well I don't, I don't remember what color that was but I did have to sharpen one and I sharpened oh no problem so but anyway so this is the order I put them in I put all the yellows and oranges and, you know blues and everything because it was all over the place with the order uh, on the container and then I put them in here And, um, I got them all in here. I put the black weapons in the front. But, uh, I, um, got them all in here. Like I said, this is days later. I mean, yeah, y'all know it's because <laughs> it's, uh, it's Thursday. And I got these, like, last Wednesday, over a week ago. And, um... Y'all would have known that if I not told you, but this process is going on too long, and that's going to happen sometimes with my videos, especially when my grandkids visit, and being that it's the summertime, we don't just have them on the weekend, we have them like all through the week, and I'm stuck with them with my 
husband at work, so I'm the one who's got to be here with him. And then I, I got the youngest one that's 17 months old. She won't let me do anything because she's going to be a, a touch and grown part to me. So I can't get videos done on a timely manner like I want to. And that is for this week because actually last week is when we got, we got them last Wednesday. We're taking them home today, but and hopefully I get this video done up today. But um, so yeah, so that's why it's, one reason why it's taking me so long to get this video this um review done so so this is uh what they look like um again i'm not gonna do a full review because i know there's other um videos out there that have that um so um i just watched them they lay down pretty well i love them they sharpen okay just that one even though i had that didn't have to sharpen very much uh it was fine and let's see um the one thing i did like about them uh, again which is not really a big deal is that the barrel does not match the color of the lid on some of these um and i'm really not all that picky about the barrel um the color doesn't actually match their name um like it, it can be annoying but the thing about it is is that that's in the initial and i do it when i get any of my new pencils that could be annoying in the beginning but then once i start using i don't care you know so uh that's just something that i noticed in the beginning but then when i start using i, I really don't care i mean because that's why i got my swatch book um, long as they are the color that I need, I don't care what they look like on the pencil. So, anyway. So, um, darn it. Uh, I brought everything out except my book that I do the test in. The, um, Daydreams book. So, um, I don't know how long this is going to go on as far as this review. Because, quite frankly, I don't even want to finish it because it's been taking too long. Um, like I said, I got these pencils last Wednesday. They were delivered last Wednesday. I tried to start the review then, and I had to re I was doing, trying to, I wanted to do an open box, uh, you know, a, you know, a boxing video. I did it, but then it, it, uh, yeah, it's just been a lot going on with the grandkids, so I, th things just don't work out like that I want them to, but anyway, so, um, we're going to try another book, another test book or something. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try in this cheap book. I was doing a, doing a um, color long in this book. It's from Dollar Tree. And actually nobody's, you know, doing it. And my grand I have like extra copies of this book. And I was trying to use this book just so that it would, you know, first crawl along. And I, you know, and I figured it because I knew that a lot of my uh, friends that wanted to do the crawling had a Dollar Tree. So I was trying to use the book that everybody had easy access to. Even though I sent like three books, to, three, three of these books to people um, so that we can do the crawl along. But nobody's sharing their um, work. So, um,. I said I will, but and you know, so I lesson learned. These pages are not good quality. It's a again from Dollar Tree, so the pages are really really funky. But it's also fun to see how well the color pencils um, work in this book, with being that it's not high quality paper. And these are some pictures that I finished. Um, pages that I finished in the color long um I'm like probably like a couple months behind because I you know I start coloring in it too because as you can see back here if you notice that um one of the pages ripped I mean and it just rips so easy I mean these are really really thin pages and oh, let me see where is it? it it ripped and I can't tape it because I have a colored either page is this one it just ripped it's like these are really really thin pages um, so I think I'm going to do my test page on this, my test coloring on this page and, um, see how they work. So, um, we're going to try that. See how well they work on a cheap book. I mean, really, really a cheap book. 
Okay, so, um, let's see. And this is why I do my swatches. It's like I pick colors that I want to use. So, let's try coloring that, um, there. wheel on the ship a chair and have a seat and we're going to see how well these do in this book because I mean the colors the pages some of them I think a couple of pages the I don't remember which ones I did I think I did use prism color on this I can't remember some of the uh my high quality pencils do work well in this book um being that it's cheap pages and others not so much So, and again, I'm not pressing it hard, and the color's going down really well. I wish I can see that. Gosh, where's the page? Let me zoom in a little bit more because let's see, and I hope that's not blurry. Okay. So like I said I'm doing this very lightly and it's the color is going down really well. And what I so what I was gonna do is that because it's in my um the color one was in my craft group on Facebook. And in my I gave one of my book one of the extra books to my grandkids and they've been coloring in it. And I gave them my old set of my color pencils. Uh Rose Art, Crazy Art or whatever it was. And um I don't like those pencils. They're really, really cheap and I just don't like them. Um so I let them have that set. And they love them because they don't care. And so I was just going to share the pages that they sh <laughs> that they colored in that book. I told them to um they go home today, so I gotta get them. I gotta remember to get them to um write their names on what pages they colored. Uh, the nine year old and the uh eight year old, um, my oldest grandson and the oldest his oldest sister, um. Well, he's the oldest, but she's the next oldest. So, um, I want to get them to write their names on the pages they color. I'm just going to share those pages. <laughs> they did the color along with me, if nobody else did. So, and I think they darn it finished the book, if not all of the pages in it. And now I'm pressing it just a little bit harder, and the color's still going down. I'm not pressing extremely hard. And then my bark the dogs are barking at something. It's a little bit harder. And the pressure is not that great, but the color is still going down really well. So you already know that they shade well. Now Again, the thing, another thing about these pencils is like, they, when I put them in the book, I'm going to show you that again. When I swatch them in the book in the order that I wanted them to, some of the colors are almost the same. They're not the same. Some of them are the same shade. No, the same tint, but different shade. Like one shade, one color is darker than the other. And so, the tint is the same. But the but the shade isn't. I Meaning again that uh, one is darker than the other. But it's six look, it's the exact same color. And I guess that's not really a bad thing. But it's kind of also it's kind of annoying to have. Uh, colors that close together that look almost as identical. So we know 
that even in this cheap book, the color goes down really good. Like I said, I'm not even pressing that hard. I'm not pressing that hard at all. And the color is going down really, really well. And it's, again, they're still, uh, the, I, every time I think about these colors, I think juicy because they're really vibrant, <laughs> juicy colors. So, um, I like that. So, let's see if I could do, and that's what I've been doing too, guys. I, I hate dropping my phone, but I really try not to drop them. And... Surprisingly, the lid on these has not broken. They haven't broken since I dropped them. You know, when I've dropped them. And I really got to be more careful with my puzzles because I hate, I hate when I drop them. And even my other puzzles, they, the lid doesn't always break on them, but it's still annoying that I drop them. Because I'm afraid that when I'm dropping them, uh, something could be affect them on the inside where they have the glue that's holding the lid in place could be... They could be loosening up or something. So, I got to be more careful and stop dropping my pencils. That is so annoying. I get mad every time I drop them. So even again, even on the cheap paper, they it's layering well and blending well. If I could just stand the lines, I don't know how many layers I'm gonna get in this book, but I am on the like probably fourth layer because the second I'm gonna count the the hard pressure as the two layers I don't know it might be just one I mean one layer and the second pressure because it was actually one that I just pressed a bit harder but this is the third layer and again they are blending well with the first color at least it looks like it I mean, guys, it's early. I was outside before it was light. Um, I can't, cause I can't get anything done. My husband leaves for work around four thirty, between four thirty and four forty. He has to be at work at five, and everybody else is still sleeping in the house. And so I had to say, let me go ahead and get this done, cause then I, I, most time I can wake up. And I'll go back to sleep when he wakes up to get ready for work, leave for work. And then I'll go back to sleep. But I, this has been bugging me that I couldn't get this review done. So I, like, let me get him go do this while these kids are asleep. <laughs> you know, and there's no big deal. They're sleeping. They're not getting up um, before I get back in the house because they sleep in anyway. And I'm only like 70 feet from the house. And I'm, I can sit here and see if anybody you know is up because they like to come on and stuff like that but yeah so they these work really well in this cheap Dollar Tree book um I like the pencils I really do like I said the only thing I don't like about them is that they don't have enough colors but then I was realizing the other day that I got sets in here like the Prismacolor 132 set the South Sun um, pencils, they are it's 160 colors of those, and I might not have ever, ever used all these pencils. I mean, I think in my um, my Thornton Art Supply, because I don't think I use all the colors in that set, and I don't think it's like 50 colors, or 72 colors in that. Wait a minute, let's see, this is 44. No, about, yes, 60-some pencils, 70-some pencils. 
and these are all the metal ones. They didn't have metal metallic colors right here. They don't. They don't have names. So I just. I didn't even put a number or name beside them. But these are the metallic colors that's in there. And these are all the other colors that I have. Um, and I don't believe I used all the colors in that one, on that set. And so, um, I don't think it's really a big deal that I try getting. Um, sets of pencils that have a lot of colors like I haven't had my Crayola's that long and it's a hundred colors and I know I haven't used all the colors in that because I only used them once I only used them once so I know I haven't used all the, the colors in that set so um, there's another set a couple more sets of pencils that I want to get and I need to lay off the colors because I got like nine sets um, but there is another thing that I want to share with you guys in this review. And this is my little swatch. Let me zoom back out. My little swatch uh, uh, cards. Um, when I start doing my color longs. So, like, and I probably won't even do them with all of them. But, um, if I do color longs in my videos, I'm going to start doing those. I made some uh, swatch cards so when I'm using a certain uh, brand of pencils and I'm wanting if you want to know what color I'm using then I have it so I did all of my Thorns Art Supplies I did my Prismacolor Premieres and I did the Arteza pencils or I did those I did those the other day I still haven't done my Prismacolor College pencils. I don't even know if I'm going to be using those that are color wrong, anything like that. I'm going to be using my um, South Sun pencils. Those are the 160 count pencils. Uh, I think they're equivalent to like the Gong Wee um, color pencils. And um, I'm going to be making swatch cards for my Crayolas because I do use those. And um, for the uh, the Sergeant Art pencils. Ah, crap, I'm back. I got, so I have some more of these cards to cut and I just used 110 pound paper cardstock and I um got at least 32 pieces 32 of these little cards out of one sheet and they are let me see what size are they oh, I forgot one and three eighths, I think. No. Two and one eighth by one and three eighths. Yeah, that's how big they are. And like I said, I got at least um, no nothing left over. Um, Thirty-two cards out of one sheet. So these are the like a little. Uh, swatch cards I'm going to be using for my videos and then because the crafty part of me had to come out I made, put, made this little box to put them in and we got like a little section there so I can put another roll here um, I did have a smaller box when I just did like this many and a smaller box like this big and I said well I'm going to be needing some more of these cards and to do my other brands of pencils so I need a bigger box I was gonna make a longer box I said, let's make it double sided so I did it like two rows so I made this box the other day and I made it from scratch oh again that's a crafty side so I made that box um so that was fun to do um I still gotta cut some more of those things the little tags whatever but I think this is gonna be in my review be simple because guys um this review just went on too long uh, like I said I got um got these pencils last Wednesday here it is Thursday and it's this, I, I'm just annoyed. I, I'm sorry. I'm annoyed that I can't that I couldn't get this review done in a reasonable amount of time because my grandkids are here. I can't do anything. I can't come out here and craft like I want to. Yesterday, I come out here and I grabbed a few things, you know, my I want to scrap or whatever, or you know, that I wasn't gonna really use. So I was gonna do something with them. Most likely good to my granddaughter. And I took them in the house, and we did memory desk cards. They wanted to craft, and so I took some stuff in it, and they all did little craft memory desk cards. So that was fun to do with them. Um, it, but I wasn't gonna bring my here my craft shit because it's it. This is only a 
10 by 18 foot building. So I was couldn't fit out here. I mean, plus I just wasn't touching my stuff. We didn't have enough room in here. So I, we crapped up my kitchen table. But anyway, so um, I think that's all I'm going to do on this review because I'm just annoyed that I couldn't get it done sooner. Um, so I'm sorry, guys. That's all I got for you. Um, but these are for the Arteza 72 count color pencils, expert uh, grade pencils. And I'm going to tell you that I do like them. I would recommend them. Um, and I'm going to be coloring with them soon. I'm going to... Like I said, they go home today, so, and I'm going to start a new coloring page, so I'm going to be using, the, I'm going to try their Tesla pencils, and I might just do a color along, a second type of video, coloring a page, and we'll go from there. We, y'all see how well they work for those of you that don't already have them. So, thanks guys for joining me, and y'all have a colorful day. Bye.